மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் சேனல் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் அருணா சண்முகவேல் லெட்டர் சி எ கோட் ஸ்மால் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் இன் த ரைட் டைரக்ஷன் ஆர் பெட்டர் தென் பிக் ஒன்ஸ் இன் தி ராங் டைரக்ஷன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் த பீட்ரஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் டெம்பரல் போன் த பீட்ரஸ் பார்ட் is pyramidal in shape and it contains the organ of hearing and equilibrium the petrus part has a base apex three surfaces and three borders the surfaces are anterior posterior and inferior the anterior surface forms posterior part of middle cranial fossa it has a semi lunar depression in the medial end it lodges the trigeminal ganglia lateral to this arcuate eminence is present this eminence is produced by the underlying superior semicircular canal further laterally a thin plate of bone is seen called tegment tympani the tegment tympani forms roof for mastoid antrum middle ear cavity and canal for tensor tympani from posterior to anterior there are two hiatuses in the anterior surface one for greater superficial petrosal nerve leading to foramen lacerum and other for lesser superficial petrosal nerve leading to foramen ovale the posterior surface forms anterior part of posterior cranial fossa it shows the internal acoustic meatus through which the 7th nerve 8th nerve and labyrinthine vessels pass lateral to the internal acoustic meatus a depression is seen called subarcuate fossa it lodges the flocculus part of cerebellum there is a slit in the lateral part of subarcuate fossa leading to aqueduct of vestibule the aqueduct of vestibule lodges ductus endolymphaticus the inferior surface of peter's part is seen in the base of skull there is a quadrilateral area seen near the apex the anterior part of this area is sulcus tube which lodges the cartilaginous part of auditory tube the posterior part gives origin to levator villi palatine muscle lateral to this carotid canal is seen that transmits internal carotid artery along with sympathetic plexus lateral to the carotid canal is the jugular fossa which lodges the superior bulb of internal jugular vein in the lateral wall of jugular fossa mastoid canaliculus is present which transmits auricular branch of vagus nerve between the carotid canal and jugular fossa tympanic canaliculus is present it transmits tympanic branch of glossopharyngeal nerve when this canaliculus is traced upwards a triangular notch is seen which lodges inferior ganglion of glossopharyngeal nerve the superior border gives attachment to attached margin of tentorium cerebelli and it is related to superior petrosal sinus the anterior border articulates with greater wing of sphenoid medially and squamous part of temporal bone laterally the posterior border articulates with basilar part of occipital bone medially jugular notch of occipital bone laterally to form jugular foramen the structure passing through medial compartment of jugular foramen is inferior petrosal sinus 
This is the only sinus coming out of the skull and joins with the internal jugular vein. In the middle compartment, 9th, 10th, 11th cranial nerves and meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery pass. The sigmoid sinus passes through the lateral compartment and continues as internal jugular vein. Shall we wind up this session with a quote? Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid of not trying. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon select all to get instant notifications.